This is NR2003 Predicts. We take the entry list of NASCAR's top three series, send them through the ratings algorithm, and see who comes out on top. Here's a few tidbits to know heading in. The driver ratings are updated race by race to reflect the performance of that driver throughout the season, as well as at that specific track in recent years. The races are at 100% length and use normal tire and fuel wear. The starting lineup will match the real-life qualifying using the provisional starting order, not the one that includes drivers heading to the back. The weather will match the real-life start time data, and commentary will match the real-life scenarios, not the standings that will be posted at the end of the video. And as always, this series is for entertainment purposes only. Using artificial intelligence and using the results of this race for gambling purposes is discouraged. The truck race on Thursday would go to Grant Enfinger, followed up by a whole lot of Door Sport and GMS, Sheldon Creed, Matt Crafton, Tyler Engram, and Zane Smith rounding out that top five. The issue is continuing this season for Johnny Sauter, finishing back there in 22nd position. Also not a great day for Trevor Bain back there in 31st spot. And in Xfinity, it's Austin Sindrick going to victory lane once again this season. Has a big margin of victory over Harrison Burden, followed by Justin Haley, Noah Gragson, and Ross Chastain. The final race of the regular season for this series looks like Ryan Sieg did enough, although it's a little bit of a closer call for Brandon Brown. Got involved in an accident. He finishes back in the 32nd position this race. And in the Cup Series, it's a cutoff race in the playoffs. Round number one going to come to conclusion tonight. Brad Kozlowski and Joey Logano lead them to the green flag. Kozlowski gets ahead, even on the inside. You can make both lanes work here. It's going to be a matter of who can hold them all together. Average finish-wise, it's Chase Elliott who leads the way. 12.7 average finish. John Nernemczyk got a 13th place run here earlier this season. That's his only race on the track so far. Kyle Busch, though, he leads the way in the win category. Eight victories total at this racetrack, although he has not found one this season. And right now, trying to come from a little further back in the field, he is outside the top 10. We've got problems here on the back stretch as Ryan Priest goes around. As well as Tyler Reddick, I think there was a little contact with the 32 car. Oh, and Elliott just got in there late. And that is going to cause quite a bit of damage to his race car. He was running second at the time, and he still maintains second even after they pull off all that sheet metal that got crunched up on his front end. Going to see how he can hold on to that one from the runner-up spot. Top five wise, Matt Kenseth leading the way among active drivers, 15. Beating out Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch. Trying to work his way further up, though, although there's going to be a little trouble here. Three wide situation with the Chip Ganassi cars, and Greg Galding going to get turned, and it's going to have Eric Jones get collected. There is some front end damage on that 20 car. We also have a little bit of a problem as they were coming back around. JJ Yaley gets nailed from the back end, driving the 15 car this week in place of Brennan Poole, and the 32, I think, got a little bit of a situation back there on the back stretch as he was coming around to get his spot back. He have a big shot to the 15, and I believe that might have taken Yaley out of the race. As we come back to the restart, more problems with the 32, and this time with the 38, who turns back across the racetrack in front of the 13. And the caution flies once again. This is turning into a wreck fest, and we're still not even past 100 laps this race. Now it's Alex Bowman out in front. He'll go down to the low side early, although it looks like that might have been a mistake, as look at Almirola push right by. Great jump for the 10 car, as there's still going to be more problems here as Christopher Bell goes around. And Martrex Jr. also going to spin around, and Jimmy Johnson, big front end damage there. Oh, there's going to be more problems further down. That was past the situation, and it's Kevin Harvick that went straight into the wall. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Quinn Half also involved. And that was just past that incident with Bell and Truex. So a lot of cars and a lot of... Decent competitors getting taken out early in this one. Hamlin now out in front. And Stenhouse coming back on the track. And that's an ill-advised situation there. Hit Wallace. Spinning around the middle of the track. Cole Custer making contact. Man, this is a pretty nasty race so far. And we're only a fifth of the way through. Denny Hamlin out in front. Almirola looking from behind. Chris Bell trying to get to the inside. And Timmy Hill was already there. 95 goes for a spin, and the double zero also gets collected. 
Come into a restart once again with Almirola and Boyer out in front. And Truex Jr. finds himself in the barrels at the end of the backstretch pit lane. And we'll go to another caution. Now it's Denny Hamlin and Kurt Busch out in front as there's a little pit strategy going on. And now Hamlin going down the pit lane from the lead. Not sure if he's got a penalty or if he's got a problem. But he is going down. He will give up the lead. And I also see Harvick down there. And we are finally going to hit the conclusion of stage one. And Kurt Busch, who was in second on that restart, he will get the stage win, followed by Bowman, Dylan, Elliott, and Boyer. Seven of the top ten being playoff drivers. Kenseth also got up there along with McDowell and Busher. So now we'll hit the restart, and it's Kurt Busch out in front. Alex Bowman right behind him. Jimmy Johnson has the edge on top tens, tied with Matt Kenseth as well, but... Looks like his luck has run out as he's got major front end damage. I believe he's back there around 30th position. It has not been a good day for him, but problems here is Kurt Busch gets collected with Eric Jones, who I believe was coming off pit lane. Oh, and a big hit there with the 51 and the 11. Several drivers that we've seen out front this race. This has been quite a nasty one. Now it's Bowman out in front. Chase Elliott's still there in second place. He's got plenty of damage to his race car. All in Ryan Priest cuts down. I'm not sure if he was trying to make a move to pit lane, but he's going to be making it now as he gets contact with the two car trying to make that move. Now we have Austin Dillon out in front. He's had quite the playoff run. Several good finishes put him in a good points position. Kevin Harvick trying to work his way back up the racetrack as he has got some damage to his race car, has already found himself into the wall and now we're going to hit the end of stage two and this time it'll be Bowman out in front followed by Boyer, Chase Elliott, Austin Dillon, Almirola and Keselowski some playoff drivers that are also scoring some stage points it's going to be valuable for them to move on to the next round now we hit the green flag and this will be the final 250 lap stretch and if we're lucky we won't see any more cautions but the way this race has been going it's unlikely and there we go Eric Jones who's been on and off pit lane with some heavy damage. Looks like he made some contact and he spins himself around. Fortunately, no one else necessarily gets too bad of a hit. And now Bowman will take the restart once again. Oh, and this is a little bit more major as the 53 cuts across the nose of the four car. And now Harvick is crunched up. He's headed to pit lane and it looks like the 53 will have to as well. And it might have been where he was headed, but that was a very ill-timed move. Meanwhile, on the restart, look at Chase Elliott. That's not a car that's supposed to be out front, but look at the move he makes on the 88 as he goes to the bottom line. And Austin Dillon going to try to follow him. Oh, but there's contact here in the back stretch, and Cole Custer goes around. He goes for a spin, but I think there's some more activity behind him. Oh, yeah, Almirola and Wallace get together. Puts both of them in a spin. Oh, and there's a huge hit. Six car of Ryan Newman plows into the 10. I believe that might take him out of the race. Now Elliott leading the way. His whole front end taken off the race car. All but Boyer from second spot. He's headed down the pit lane now. There must be a full moon in the sky tonight because everything has just been going wrong so far. Looking for a surprise winner and we might have one at this point. Ryan Blaney. He was in a virtual must-win situation, and it looks like that win is not coming. He is finding himself several laps back, having to come down to pit lane a couple times. And now another spin for John Hunter Newcheck. Ray Golden also on the wall. Wallace gets crunched up in that one, and Logano is also around it. Austin Dillon runs into it. He was running in second place. And that is going to take the three car out of the race. Man, this race has just gone downhill from the start, and it's hardly giving us anything good in return 41 car we've seen him go for a spin so far and he is actually holding up okay right now but he is also behind the cut line trying to see if he can get a better finish as now we see Alex Bowman working his way to the outside and trying to pass up the nine car for the lead the laps are starting to wind down and finally we'll be able to end this mess of a race but Bowman looking for another victory hasn't gotten one since his win at Auto Club that put him in the playoffs in the first place. Meanwhile, another Hendrick driver, William Byron, he's behind the cut line, and he is not having a good run tonight. He has been down pit lane multiple times, and this might be the end of his playoff run, as there's another caution going to come out here with Corey LaJoy and Joey Logano getting into the wall. 
Some contact there entering turn one. Now the 88 car shoots off and Chris Buescher behind him. This has been a fairly good track for Roush Fenway in past years. We're not sure though if Chris Buescher is actually going to pull this one out of the bag though. We see Kevin Harvick. He has found, finally found his way into the top 10 after all that stuff that he's gone through tonight. He is actually able to get back into the top 10. But meanwhile the white flag is going to fly and Alex Bowman has pulled off quite the lead. He is enveloped in a lot of traffic right now but... Bowman is going to shoot his way through. He'll keep that high line. He doesn't mind if someone finishes a lap ahead of him or not. But he's going to come to the checkered flag, win tonight here at Bristol, and guarantee that he's in the next round of the playoffs. And finally, after these 500 laps, this race is over, and for good reason, because that was quite a nasty one. Several accidents throughout the night. But Bowman will be able to come home victorious. Chris Buescher and Michael McDowell round out the podium. That is quite an unorthodox top three. Chase Elliott, Brad Keselowski also in the top five. Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick grabbing top ten finishes. Really needed for Boyer who was close there on the cut line. Kyle Busch though going to appreciate that as well as he tries to look for some better runs in the future. Great Golding getting up there and just outside the top ten. As there was just a lot of drivers that had great chances at going for a victory tonight that had issues throughout. Just a lot of aggressive driving as you can see four playoff drivers just ecking out a top 20 William Byron 11 laps down. Had a terrible night for him and Austin Dillon who had some great runs coming into this race back there in the 27th spot. And several drivers that we were trying to see if they would have good finishes. Kurt Busch. Denny Hamlin, Matt Benedetto, who needed a win. He went behind the wall. Martin Truex Jr., all of them not finishing this race. That is it for NR2003 Predicts. We hope you enjoy the race, and we will see you all next time. <laughs>